lucky number 13. All right. It would have been really classy if this one was 13 years old. Wouldn't that have been incredible? Unfortunately. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So this is number 10. It's from green, light green, not dark green. Do you mean um, number 13? What did I say? Number 10. Because I made you look at the date for how old it was. Oh, yeah. Fucking dumb. 10 yeah, years, whatever. Oh, dude. Did they have the thingy? It does. What do you mean? I'm stupid. What's wrong? The color coding's on the label. Yeah, it's always been. I, I saw it on back of box. I never saw it also on label. You didn't notice on the oranges and reds? From like wasn't the paying last attention. Days? No, I wasn't looking. It was super prominent on those. I know, it was super prominent on those. I'm looking at yeah, the orange and the red. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, so this is 10 years of low land from Govan. 180 to 200 liters. 46%. I want to know about that number. The number the I want to know number. about... The, the, the 46%. How the fuck are they all hitting 46%? And not all of them, just a lot of them. Like, how the fuck is this even happening? What did you do? Where is she? Um, well, according to you, they all have to make them exactly the same. So, that's well, how. They don't make it exactly the same. They just have to follow certain rules. Yeah. So that's They how. don't all 40. They're not all 46. And no, I that's didn't... because alcohol content varies based on the sugar, so... Yeah, it doesn't have to. It didn't say the volume of sugar. It just said it has no, it to have, have to it. Say that. Yeah. yeah. So, so they could, and a lot of for bourbon specifically, when it goes in, you know the key to moderating your alcohol, adding water. That's how they do it. So, are they adding water to get this forty six percent to make it forty six? Because that's a lot what they do with bourbons. It goes in before it goes into that shit, man. It's like balls high proofed. Before it goes into those barrels. Like, that shit's big dicked. But to follow the thing, they add a lot of water to lower that shit down. So what you're saying is that we need to get to the source so we can get a little sippy off of that before it goes into the barrel. Well, the problem with that is... But it does, will it make you go blind? No, it won't. It won't do that. <laughs> it won't do that. I mean, obviously part the head and... The head definitely will make you go blind and probably kill you. But uh, the other... I don't know. I think they... I think they sell some of that where it is unwatered down, but it's. I think it ends up just not tasting good. Yeah, that's, that would make some sense given that yeah. it's like probably eighty percent alcohol. Yeah, actually, a lot of them are that high. They have to. They have to do some pretty big watering down, yeah. which just makes me think of the flavors of it all. But there we are. So this is thirteen from Lowlands. You know the poor, the poor people. Ooh, this is sweet smelling. This does smell candied almost. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's and that bad. caramel, the reason why we keep <laughs> smelling caramel is because they keep adding caramel coloring, which has nothing to do with the flavor of caramel. It's just But it reminds nice, you of it when you smell something very, sweet. Very, very, very much You're does. Like, it's brownish and it smells sweet. It must be caramel. I think caramel's underrated. I think it's a fucking Under? amazing. Yeah. I love caramel. It's like one yeah. of my favorites. It's underrated. Who doesn't like caramel? A lot of people. Do you see caramel everywhere? No, you barely see caramel anywhere. It's always chocolate. Oh, yeah, chocolate's overrated. Yeah, chocolate overrated, caramel underrated. That's my point. You see chocolate this, chocolate that. You'll see a caramel-covered apple. Who wants a fucking apple? How about caramel-covered chocolate? Boosh. What now? People like caramel and chocolate. That's Dude, why candy bars exist. caramel-covered orange. They usually do it the other order, though. They do the caramels on the inside of the chocolate. Yeah, no, I don't want the chocolate to star. I want the caramel to star. I want the chocolate for once to be a bitch. You want, like, one of those little caramel squares, but inside of it is like a Hershey's Kiss. No, I want it where it's like a chocolate-covered apple, but, but inside of it, all... <laughs> but it's a chocolate <laughs> ball, it's just but inside chocolate that ball. chocolate is more caramel. Holy shit. That's like a, a trick. Oh, my God, it's going to be. Like a crazy caramel meatball. There you go. Not Hershey, because your chocolate sucks. Uh, go, go. Oh, what other other brand? Uh, uh, Milka yeah. Is and put fine. your put your chocolate Hershey in your fucking roads again, you piece of shit. You know what you did. All right, I'm gonna open these taste buds. Yeah. I know. <sighs> Actually. Smooth. 
Sweet. That was a pleasant, that was a pleasant first sip. If it wasn't for the fact that we're drinking so fucking early, if this was like evening, wide awake, already maybe brushed some cocktails down or had a long day, and like we, we've been all awake for so fucking long and functional, like this would be so fucking pleasant. <laughs> this seems very sweet. It's okay. Yeah. It's, this I is mean, extremely you know me sweet. how I feel about sweet. Is this 10 year? Was this a 10 boy? It was a 10 year. It was a 10 year. This is a 10 year old boy. And I love. Damn it. I'm not saying that. Um, this is good. It's extremely uh, caramely. Oh, weird. And, and uh, it, it actually well, is a bad. I don't think you would. Well, you could. Don't, don't take this. it off of the. You just opened your taste buds. You can't take it off of that. You're right. <sighs> Which I, you gotta take another drink before you start analyzing it too deeply. I think my taste buds were open earlier from the uh, the shot of bullet I had earlier. Yeah, sure. To wake up. <laughs> uh, still Ooh, super that sweet. I, that one I got an extra bite on that I didn't on the first sip. Yeah, there's a little bit, but when you exhale though, it's that's where the flavor really comes through, and it's like so sugary. Yeah. I think you could mix this with a sweet drink. Like it'd have to be something super sweet. Like you're leaning, you're double leaning into it. So you wouldn't want like a sour thing. You want to do this with like a, a whiskey sour by any means. You would do it with like um. I don't know many sweet drinks, <laughs> so someone fit, find one. You could lean into it. Otherwise, this is like easily on a. Uh, I wouldn't do this on a winter day. I think this would be a summer day. This is a summer day. Drop a drop an ice cube in there. Sit back. Okay. Rock on that chair. Put your feet up. Have a little nice sip. It's dessert. Don't have this with food. Don't have this one with food either. Drink it on an empty stomach. No, well, not like that, but don't like eat steak and shit and have this. That'd be dumb. Oh, yeah. No, this, this would is go terribly with steak. Yeah, I think this is good for, terrible with any salty foods. I mean, salty sweet does I'm work, though, but not that much. What's something I could eat with this that would taste okay? I told you. This is like after the meal. That's what I said. It would be a dessert. But I wouldn't have chocolate with it. Maybe but, caramel. Um, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a caramel that was wrapped around some chocolate. Yeah, or 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 maybe like even even the the, the caramel squares that I kind of want to buy right now. It, those are tasty. I like them. It's the cubes. Caramel cubes. Yeah, that's what they call them. The caramel cubes. Those are pretty fucking good. They were great. They're supposed, they're grandparent candy now, you know that? Oh That's fucked God. up. I wish I had grandparents then. Uh, <laughs> take those and the Werther's Originals. They can leave those fucking strawberry candies behind. Fuck those. Yeah, I hate those strawberry candies. They're garbage. I also hate Jolly Ranchers. Suck it. I like them. Yeah, I hate Jolly Ranchers. I hate all, like, just pure sugar candies. Yeah, except for caramel, which is literally pure sugar. No, it's not. It's caramel. <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> it's totally different. As I say, a don't Tootsie Roll is pre. Like don't, it's sugar. like it's it, it, that's like saying Tootsie Rolls are pure sugar. Okay, that's like saying that, and it's not. I don't I'm know what Tootsie Rolls are other... even made out of. I think I knew it. I knew it. I was right. Caramel is not just pure sugar. No, it needs to have like cr uh, not cream in it. That's what uh, is it you know, like condensed milk? It's heavy cream. Oh, okay. And butter. Makes sense. That's how it tastes better, cause butter make everything better. Yeah, no, I've made caramel before. Made it in my loins. Uh, dude, dude, hear me out here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Holy fuck! Why didn't I not think of this? But Unrelated. This is what you'd have it with it. So you make your homemade caramel. Yeah, naturally. Make it, make it into a cube. Get what? some him. Oh, yeah. Hold on. It gets better. Oh. Now you make sure it's hard caramel. But then you make a little later. You make a little soft caramel. A little, little drizzly syrup you want. Okay. Okay. Now you hear me here. So now you put it on the plate. You do one of those fucking chef glazes. Yeah. So it's caramel okay. and caramel. Yeah. Then you get Himalayan pink. Salt. Delicious. A sprinkle on that. Now you got half the you get half the plate, right? So you got one side and the one side. We need the battle of the greens. So you get lim limes. 
and you get that okay. zest, and you put it in a little uh, fucking uh, a little uh, what do you call it? A uh, I can't think of the word for some reason. Not the mandolin, but the um, cheese grater, but not for cheese. And you get that zest. Cover that gra- a little sprinkle on that zest all over half the caramels. The other side, you crumble up pistachios. Perfect. Good flavors. Holy fuck. Then you battle it out and come on it. That's the extra secret seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. It's called well, the honey I, shot. I dribble it on there. Yeah, just for fun. <laughs> so I do that with all my food. So this makes you want to create good caramel concoctions. <laughs> yeah, just like drinking a whiskey. <laughs> Big drink of that easier to do than the other ones. Eight out of ten. That was actually really. Good. That was a good one. I did, I enjoyed it a lot. I didn't know if it was gonna be. It was unique enough. Feed. It was it was unique enough. It was sweet, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't have it every day, but I think it was for for what it is and what it's trying to be, and it's trying to be different, and it's something that stands out on its own. Eight out of ten. It stands out on its own, and it doesn't suck. Yeah, I'm looking at whatever number was two. It was one of you fuckers. Suck. I thought you liked number shit. two. No, the one that got rated two. Oh. One yeah. of many? I should have written the numbers. Most were three. A lot of them, not most. A lot of them were threes. I think I only went, I did one, two, three threes, one, four, some fives, a lot, three or four sevens, I think. I think you're or take. No, it was somewhere in that. I know I gave at least three sevens. And I think I gave three threes. One, two. If I was smarter, I'd be writing this down. Yeah, I'd see if it adds up. But unfortunately, I'm not smart. This is true. All right, guys, tune in Bat Channel and and, and Ape Escape stuff. And uh, next Ape Escape channel. 14, 14, 14, it was 13, whatever. It's fine. Why?